Hello, I'm Sarah Sabin, Transformational Leadership and Business Coach, and I am delighted to have with me here today Gretchen Skalka, who is a career strategist and leadership development coach. Gretchen, welcome today. How are you doing? I'm, I'm very well. Thank you for having me, Sarah. I am a, a career marketer, a corporate marketing director was my career, and I uh, started my coaching business, uh, Career Insights Consulting, lit earlier this year. And I started after coaching for the last 13 years um, in a freelance capacity. So I decided to open my business and take my coaching full time, which is great. The coaching is not a problem. It's the business end of things that uh, give me a little bit of <laughs> trepidation. So um, yeah. So that's been the journey that I've been on as a new business owner uh, in the coaching space. Yeah, it's. I remember our first conversation. I remember you saying, I'm not a business person. I think that was one of the first things I said, Gretchen. Let's uh, yes. stop saying, <laughs> yes. stop saying that and develop yes. the skills around it. Yes. So you actually, yeah. sorry, go ahead. You actually said something that I'll never forget, and that what it was one one of the early mindset things we talked about. And you said this can either be a very expensive hobby, <laughs> or it can be a business, you know. And you know, and that that really resonated with me. So I did appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I think a lot of coaches, you know, they love coaching, but at the end of the day, it is an expensive hobby because by the time you factor in all the training costs and everything, so yeah. okay. So why did you feel that you wanted to hire a business coach? For me, it was the business end of things. So my business, my coaching had always been referral only. Every client that I have was referred to me by someone else who had already worked with me. And so I had never had to have the money conversation. That was not something that was discussed. And it was incredibly difficult, painful almost for me to have that conversation. So I really needed to get training, uh, get coaching myself on how to cross that bridge, you know, get over that that hurdle um, that I was not able to do myself. And I tried in earnest, um, but it was one of those when you're, you know, launching a new business, time is very precious. And I, you know, I wanted to be sure that I, that I maximized my time, which is why I engaged, a, I went looking for and engaged a coach early on. Yep. Mm -hmm. And may I say, aside from anything else, you know, you've really done the work um, on your internal environment as well, because now you are, I won't say you're like super comfortable having money conversations, but it's starting to become your way of being that you're embracing more, which is amazing to see considering where you started at the beginning. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely like night and day from where I was when I first, when we first started working together, it is, uh, I, I could not be happier with that. It's not uncomfortable anymore. And it's not something that I dread. I don't telegraph any of that. I'm able to just have the conversation because it's as natural a part of my coaching and the relationship that I'll build with my client as anything else. Mm, yeah, a hundred percent. So what did you love most about working with me and also with the group? I think a couple of things. One, that it was a group. I really enjoyed having other people, other coaches that I could kind of hear about their journey you know, we would have commonalities, but then, you know, their, their area of coaching is different. And so I learned quite a lot from them, but also I think having that accountability with you um, and the fact that, you know, it, it's a, it's a very, it's a very pleasant working relationship, but it's also, you know, understood, like you have to be accountable. There are things, if you want this in your business, you have to do it. And I also really appreciated the fact that, there's this wealth of information out there and uh, you've created that. And so if I have questions, if I'm not sure, if I, you know, get lost on something, I always have something to refer to in addition to being able to reach out to you uh, for help if I need it. So I really, I really enjoyed those three things together. I think they were a very powerful combination for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. And uh, I'm going to get on to some of the good stuff now. Um, Tangible results. 
that you found in your business as a result of um, doing the 90 day program with me? So the tangible results are a few. One is that I had a I have a much better understanding now of where to look to engage my clients in turn, you know, it, instead of what I was trying, which was just, you know, going nowhere, sort of that spaghetti method, throwing everything at the wall. Um, so it was a very targeted method and it really helped me hone, you know, not only what my message was, but also who who's the client that I'm intended to serve that I want to serve and, and where is that client? And so that was huge. And then the other thing, of course, tangible was getting clients, being able to to sign people to work with me and sign up for my programs, which has been absolutely huge. Um, in addition to being able to sign clients, not just for programs, but for like a group training, which I, I did uh, one yesterday. And so that's been great. Um, I've, I've very much enjoyed that because as I'm signing new clients, I'm also learning new things about myself as a business owner and how to sort of incorporate all of that, you know, the business building activities, the coaching, the sort of forward thinking, and of course, my own habit building as well. So mm. I've, I, yeah, the tangible results are, you know, in the business, you can see them because it is growing and the reputation is, is good. So the, the strategies are, are very well thought out. And then for me personally, you know, there's a lot of growth that's happened here as well. So yeah, it, I don't think that anybody who knew me um, earlier this year when I started Career Insights and knows me now would necessarily put the two together, except the hair is the same. So yeah. Oh my God, that's amazing. No, I think for me, that's super exciting because it says like, there's a real like internal change of being, which obviously translates to the outside. And yeah. um, for the purposes of anyone listening to get specific here, um, Gretchen had her first, I think it was nearly $11,000 a month in her second month of working with me. Yes. Um, she completed a workshop yesterday and she's in uh, talks as well for a five figure deal for a company workshop. So yes. um, lots of exciting stuff on the horizon. Very excited. Yeah, very excited. It's been it's been a just, you know, an incredible couple of months um, because it's sort of, you know, this once the engine starts going, it starts really going and it things start moving and, and coming together in a way that I really hadn't hadn't thought was possible when I started this journey with you. So, yeah, I am over the moon about it. Yeah, I'm really happy. Yay. OK, um, some intangible results. So those are kind of the more internal uh, feelings going on. Yeah, I mean, confidence. You know, and it's, you know, one of the things that I'm able to coach other people on is a confidence mindset. And it's something that I never thought that was a challenge for me until I became a business owner. Mm. And so the business mindset is very different. And so that, you know, really caused me to have to do a lot of internal work. So I would say confidence is a huge thing, uh, an intangible thing for other people, but for me, it's one of the things that has created the tangible results in the business. Um, I really believe that. But also I think too, you know, positive habit forming, uh, which goes to confidence every time I'm I'm clicking on those habits, it's reinforcing that I'm doing the right thing, I'm going the right direction. And again, the proof is in the business. I mean, it's happening. So, um, you know, there have been, you know, just the mindset shift, the I can do it, being able just to, like we started this conversation, have the money conversation, that it's not, it's not a stumbling block. It's not anything that I'm worried about anymore. And, and I very much appreciate that because it was, it wasn't a stumbling block before it was stopping me. It was absolutely stopping me. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And, you know, this is, this is a really important hurdle, money mindset in general for coaches to get over because, you know, to order in order to get your value and impact out in the world, you need to be able to sustain yourself. And so yes. Yes. You know, if you're not charging, you're actually reducing your potential impact. Um, yeah. One of my favorite quotes is basically, I don't know whether this is a quote or whether something just came into my way of being, but purpose can equal profit. They're not two mutually exclusive concepts. Yes, mm -hmm. I believe that. And I also think that it's important for that reason, because, again, 
the more people, you know, as a coach, you know, we're, we're built to serve. And so the more people that, that I can serve, the, the, the better that is for, for, for what I'm doing, but also for them. And so I think being able to be profitable and continue doing that is, it's absolutely essential. It's mm-hmm. necessary. It's not a luxury. It's not, you know, it's necessary. Yeah. It's the, the lifeblood of your business. So, yeah. Yeah. Which is why Gretchen's kicking off now. Um, <laughs> One last question before we wrap up today. Would you recommend me as a coach to other coaches looking to grow their business? Yeah, I definitely would. I mean, I, I think that, you know, there's there's a, a plan, there's a program, there's outreach, there are resources, there's you, there's just the, the whole, you know, experience of being in the program has been richer and 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 more um, robust than I thought that it was going to be. I'm extremely happy with the way everything has gone. And I would, yeah, I would recommend this program and you to anybody who's even slightly on the fence about working with a business coach. You know, there's just nothing but good stuff that's going to happen. At least from my experience, my direct experience is, yeah, I can't imagine that I would be, have have any clients if I hadn't gone through this program. Oh, thank you so much, Gretchen. I mean, from my perspective, it's been an absolute pleasure to work with you and to see your growth. And I look forward to <laughs> continue, continuing to see you grow even further. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, so thank you all for listening. If you'd like more information, please do feel free to get in touch with me. Bye for now.